Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Angbar and today I will be teaching reaction turbines. Now in the previous lecture, I already discussed about impulse turbine and reaction turbine. Now the basic working principle will remain same for the reaction turbine as well as for the impulse turbine. Now what is the basic difference between your impulse turbine and your reaction turbine? Now see, in case of the impulse turbine, you have already seen that in case of a nozzle, in, in nozzle the pressure drop has been taking place. But in case of in but in moving blades, your pressure drop is not taking place. Now I will tell you how this pressure drop is not taking place in case of an impulse turbine in moving blade. See the consecutive area between the two blades is remain is remaining constant. It means the cross sectional area between the two consecutive blades will remain same. If the you know that the pressure is inversely proportional to your area. If the area is not changing definitely the pressure will not change. That is why your pressure drop is not taking place in case of impulse turbine. Now when we talk about reaction turbine, in, in reaction turbine your stationary blades are there and moving blades are there. And the, the pressure drop will take place in stationary blades as well as in moving blades also. Now how this pressure drop is taking place I will explain in a great detail. Now see what happens in case of a, in case of a reaction turbine uh, the type of blades which are used in reaction turbine is of air, air fold type blades. Again, I will repeat air fold type blades. And the type of blades which are used in your impulse turbine is of profile type blades. In that area is constant. But you talk about a reaction turbine, the type of blades which are used is of air fold type blades. In that, the area between the two consecutive blades will not remain same. It is of converging type. When, when it is of converging type, it means you can see from the diagram, this is the inlet, this is the outlet. This is the inlet and this is the outlet. And you can very well see from the diagram that the area is of converging type. The area is changing from inlet to outlet. So you can imagine if the area is, the area is, the, the area here, here is changing it everywhere. Definitely the pressure will change. And you know that the, you know that the pressure is inversely proportional to area. So you can say the pressure, the area is changing definitely the pressure will change. That is why in case of a reaction turbine, the pressure will change in case of a, in, in your stationary blade as well as in your moving blade also. Now I will explain this reaction turbine with the help of a diagram. This is your, this is a cross section of a reaction turbine I have drawn. These are stationary fixed blades. Or you can say it's you can just stationary blades which are fixed on the stationary casing, and these are the moving blades which are fit, uh, they are moving, they are fitted on the rotor. Now see, these uh, this these blades are acting as nozzles. They are acting as nozzles. It means the velocity of steam passing uh, the they, these blades, stationary blades, will increase the velocity of the steam. They'll increase the velocity of the steam, and this increase in velocity will impinge on the moving blade. Now, the, uh, now you must be thinking that these fixed blades are nozzles fitted on the reaction turbine, but it is not so. In your in case of a reaction turbine, your convectional type nozzles are not fitted, but the passage provided in uh, the passage provided for a stationary blade in case of a reaction turbine is, is such that they are uh, they are acting as they are acting as nozzles, but there are no nozzles fitted. The the passage which is provided for stationary blades is such that they are increasing the velocity. This passage is increasing the velocity. That is why we are saying that the stationary blades are acting as nozzles. But actually, there are no nozzles fitted in your reaction turbine. That we used to say your stationary blades act as nozzles, but they are not nozzles. nozzles. Now I will explain one another parameter known as degree of reaction. Now what is this degree of reaction? Now see. Um, it's a mathematical parameter. It's a mathematical parameter which is used to quantify how much amount of enthalpy drop is taking place in stationary blade and in moving blade. Now, see, it's it's a basic if mathematically. If you say it's a ratio of enthalpy drop in moving blade divided by total enthalpy drop in stage. Now, 50% degree of reaction. What is the meaning of 50% degree of reaction? 50% degree of reaction means is a, is a, there is an equal enthalpy drop taking place in stationary blades as well as in moving blades. If I say 0% zero, zero degree of reaction, 0% degree of reaction means it, there is a no enthalpy drop, there is a no enthalpy drop taking place in 
moving blades as well as in stationary blades you can uh, zero percent degree of reaction is an example of your impulse turbine now i will write degree of reaction on both degree of degree of reaction is enthalpy drop of moving blades enthalpy drop of moving blades to total enthalpy drop in stage enthalpy drop of moving blades to the total enthalpy drop in stage stage comprises of stationary blade as well as your moving uh, stationary blade as well as for your moving blade i hope i must have clear the introduction of your reaction turbine very well and the difference between the impulse turbine and reaction turbine and the last parameter that i have discussed was degree of reaction thank you